My name is Keith Pierce. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of Altrix. As the Chief Marketing Officer, I'm accounted for a third of the pipeline that the company brings in every year. I am accountable for positioning the product um, in the market uh, and all the sales enablement that goes along with that and the partner enablement. I'm also responsible for guarding the reputation of the brand and positioning the brand um, and all the communications that the company does both internal and external. Probably the biggest challenge we're uh, faced with at Altrix, like many companies in the macroeconomic climate, is really justifying the marketing budget and spend and headcount. It's come under intense you know, scrutiny. Um, so, you know, one of the primary areas is, is marketing influence. How do you attribute pipeline to marketing? Um, and historically, we had relied on uh, typical influence metrics. How many touches, how many interactions did marketing have with prospects in an account that ended up becoming a customer or buying more as an existing customer? And the point of view that I have, and I think that the company has, is every opportunity should be influenced by marketing as we manage the brand reputation for the company and we position the brand and we position the product. In our budget planning season, uh, which goes started in November of last year, we started this interaction with our finance teams with the Forrester Analyst community. We, I want to remove myself and we want to remove marketing from the bias that we have around what marketing should do and have our finance teams working directly uh, in partnership with Forrester. And that's how we arrived at the specific marketing goals for new business and marketing attributed pipeline for new business. And that's how we moved away from the influence only score to this percentage of marketing pipeline that would be new business generated. So it was multiple calls with multiple people on our finance team. Uh, and it became, you know, really the strategy that we adopted for how we measure marketing in the company. So some of the work that we're most proud of having worked with Forrester and the team is really taking the, the skepticism, I would say, out of all tricks about what marketing's doing and what contribution they're really making um, to a very direct, very clear set of metrics and dashboards that the business is unequivocally and universally supported and endorsed to show marketing demand performance and efficiency. And the other thing is, is we look at um, how we compare ourselves. Because there's one thing to report the metrics. There's another one saying, how are we doing against the best? Forrester's helped us with that as well. Um, and it's informed how we get better cost per lead performance. It's performed how we spend uh, money with better you know, eye towards return on investment. And even how we staff and the marketing uh, team from our SDR population all the way through to our field and international marketers. If, if I had to sort of give a metaphor to what it feels working with Forrester, it's almost like a warm blanket. You know, I know when I work with them that um, they're going to listen, they're going to prepare, um, and these can be tense conversations. I just feel like there's this safety net below me, uh, supporting me, and I think the people that use Forrester on the, in the marketing discipline and in our revenue ops discipline um, feel that same level of support. So it's been, it's been a great partnership. I've uh, valued the credibility they bring, the expertise they bring. They do their homework, they're prepared. Um, and I know that the outcome of that, it may not always be favorable to what I want, but it's gonna be the best thing for Altrix, which is ultimately what my job is to deliver.